Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel. A vlog version of the uh, match preview and match reaction it will be today. Thanks to also a cameraman who's behind the camera. I said it on the live stream before the game. It is Perry Snitch, as he's known on Twitter. Say hi to the people. Hello. He's going to be the cameraman for today and we are on our way to Manchester right now. A uh, two hour drive from Leicester. And yeah, we're gonna get some food before the game, get the vibes of Manchester City Centre, and then head down to the Etihad Stadium, where uh, seems like there's some interesting news ahead of the match, uh, some interesting uh, team sheet news by uh, Inzaghi. Uh, but we'll speak about that later when we're at the stadium and cover that. But yeah, I'm excited for the game. How are you feeling, Snudges, ahead of the ahead of the game? I'm oddly confident. It's gonna be. No, I'm not gonna say my scoreline. You know, I don't wanna jinx it. That's kind of my thing at the moment. That's good. <laughs> well, we're both hoping that we do better than uh, our cousins AC Milan did uh, yesterday, right? Oh, 100%. We can't do much worse, surely. <laughs> we can't do worse. We can't do worse. Please, we can't disgrace Italy and Serie A like that, like they did. Uh, we woke up to some interesting news actually today, didn't we? With the, the Rossi getting fired. That's yeah, well. crazy. So interesting to see what happens on that side. But um, yeah, we'll uh, continue the vlog later on from Manchester and uh, the Etihad Stadium. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Somehow we landed in Stoke. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> They're in Champions League now. <laughs> Yeah, we made it to the stadium at the Etihad. You can see they've actually copied the San Siro spiral as well. Obviously, you had to partake in the tourist attractions and the souvenirs. We had a cheeky Nando's. Actually, it was not just first time at Nando's. I took his uh, his Nando's virginity and I think he enjoyed it. And uh, oh, quietly confident going into the game. Not nervous yet, but I saw the lineup. No Lautaro, no Dumfries, Visek starting, Zielinski starting his first game for Inter. Bit risky choices by Inzaghi. I haven't looked at Man City's lineup, I'm sure it's very, very strong. But as long as we keep it respectable, that's what me and Snudges have said. Keep it respectable, don't do what AC Milan did yesterday, and hopefully, uh, should be good. And we'll see you inside. Actually, we had to run to the stadium because StubHub kind of scammed us, so we were late, but we made it in the end. I'll tell you all about it later. But you know, seats were good, um, atmosphere was dead. It was only really Inter fans. You can see them there in the bottom left corner making the noise. And uh, we were playing good football. But yeah, speaking of Inter fans, amazing. <laughs> Go 
going back to the game, it was really, really interesting to watch this Inter team play from this tactical viewpoint. The way that we build up, the calmness. Barella was just on a different level yesterday, but the way that Inzaghi has this team playing is really a beauty to behold. But yeah, Darmian was annoying us a lot. But my favourite moment was definitely here when Bisek and Barella combine on this right wing. What a back heel to send Bisek on a counter-attack. Just so impressive. Man of the match again. Inter fans continue singing throughout the game. Shouts out to the Curva Nord and all the Inter clubs that were there. Man City fans here and there, you know, singing Sutte, Sutte, Sutte. Or, you know, did you cry in Istanbul? Which, you know, it's funny. But after the fifth or sixth time, it got pretty old. And, oh yeah, this little kid clearly got annoyed that the Interisti were out singing his boys the whole game long. Lovely to see at the end of the game as well, the players going to meet the fans. Mikitari and Lautaro gave shirts and uh, they applauded what was a great performance by the Interisti out there. So here we are for post-match reaction. Nil, nil. That's uh, the result I wanted. Well, I predicted 1-1, one, one, so nil, nil wasn't too bad. What do you think, Snudge? Yeah, I'm happy with the, with the, with the point. Mm -hmm. It's better than not embarrassing ourselves. Exactly, exactly. We didn't embarrass ourselves. Juve didn't embarrass themselves, but guess who did? AC Milan. And Bologna didn't embarrass them <laughs> themselves. <laughs> um, I think Atalanta's the only team left, right? Atalanta Tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Any player that caught your eye particularly live? Zielinski, very impressive. I think. Hey, Mikatarian's go, gonna be sweating for his he's spot now. He's losing his last round of hair now. <laughs> yeah, the last bit of the penis that he's got left <laughs> on his head. <laughs> I'm very impressed with our discipline. That's yeah. that's one thing. Like defensively, everyone knew their job, mm. and so yeah, I'm very proud of the team and the performance yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, no, that very impressive performance like watching it with the, our view we got to see like how disciplined how the players were moving covering each other yeah the defense Acerbi once again pocketed Haaland he's the Haaland pocketer there right there you go it, time to start the agenda the propaganda the EPL defenders just <laughs> like just watch Acerbi bro you just you? need to lose the testicle that's all you need <laughs> I know that Bisek was worrying you at the beginning with some of at his at the very start yeah. but he grew into, he grew into it. it and like the passing in the back has been very very impressive mm -hmm. Like summer as well, like he was yeah. commanding in that passing. He didn't feel the pressure at all. No, no, he was impressive watching him. Like 100%. even if it was under pressure, like you just put the studs on the ball and just wait for the opening. And yeah, really good. But one player that we were both really annoyed and disappointed why was uh, by Matty Dams. Hundred percent. Yeah. Every time the ball went on the right, it just seemed like the attack would die. And that one moment when he was in the box, could have shot back heeled it to no one we just lost our mind and we were in the middle of Man City fans and then they, we, we started getting abused because they found out that we're, we were into fans at that moment we kept it subdued until, up until that point exactly <laughs> we survived we survived I'm glad in that case that we didn't score as well yeah yeah <laughs> by the way once again I think I mentioned I don't know if the audio came through on the half time one but we kind of got scammed and we had to buy our tickets again so don't trust StubHub lesson learned lesson learned and uh yeah, hopefully we get our money back. I'm going to send a big current email and phone call tomorrow to StubHub. But now I'm a city, I'm a city uh, member, so exactly. I can go watch uh, some games in, in Manchester. Hope we catch them in the knockouts then. Make yeah, it yeah, yeah. yeah that would be nice. That would be nice. And that's, that's the good thing. We don't have to play them again now. Oh. You only play them once. That's the the new format. No, but we can face them. In oh, the no, yeah, yeah, we can face them. Yeah, but I mean, like, for now. That's good. Yeah. 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 Which is this... A draw away at Man City. I think that's perfect result. Um, Harlan who? Yeah, Harlan who? Gundogan though <laughs> probably could have scored. Uh, probably two. I don't know if the the first one maybe was offside. I hear was people yeah. say was saying maybe it was offside. But the second one definitely. We got away with it. Yeah, we got away with it a little bit. Um, but at the same time, we could have done a bit more damage going end forward. To end, end yeah. to end. Like Taremi, you weren't, you weren't particularly impressed no. with Taremi. Yeah. No, I, he's, he feels a bit too shy. Yeah. I, I don't know what the right word he, is. He worked hard though. Yeah, I, I think all our strikers worked hard. Mm. They, they just couldn't pass, go, get yeah. passed through that city defence. That was the thing, we were disciplined defending well, but by the time we got to their box, it was too the tired, juice. Yeah. yeah, the juice was out. Turam was quite disappointing as well. Um, to, uh, Lautaro though when he came on he, I think he was he made a he bit of impact he tried stuff yeah. yeah hopefully so I think the main focus was to save other players for the derby anyway yeah yeah so getting away with the draw after like, some big rotations here as well mm. I, I think it's 
it was very impressive. Yeah, no, no, very impressive. Both think. teams didn't need to win. That's yeah, yeah, thing. I think City probably all right with the yeah. draw as well. There's still, still more games to go. Yeah, yeah. 15 points in seven games. Mm-hmm. I think that's... Yeah, no, this has given me even more confidence that we should be getting top eight. We need to be getting top eight. Um, but yeah, man of the match for me, Zielinski, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, I want to say Soma. I'm, I'm very impressed. Okay. Cl- clean sheet. Yeah, as well, clean sheet. Yeah. has to be, guess, one of the defenders. But just because of like, I kept that, I was very focused on watching Zielinski, so it caught my eye. If the signs are great. Yeah. Uh, we can look forward to something better in the, in the midfield. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Man City, obviously, also quite impressed. Was there any player from Man City that impressed you? Uh, in well, no one in particular. I think everyone were really, really good. Everyone mm. in that side were really disciplined as well. Yeah. I think the wingers didn't do too well, but yeah, uh, Gundogan, you were yeah, pointing well, it out yeah. in the second kind of half. He, yeah, I was just watching him. Like even when he was touching, touching the ball, he just like kept floating in these areas, and you could just see that he was going to cause us trouble. And then that's the IQ was, type of player that. Yeah, it was like the opposite of a Fratesi. Yeah, there you go, exactly. <laughs> well, actually, no. To be fair, Fratesi is also good at those couple of movements, but. Well, Gundogan's got the whole. Yeah. He can also but if he had Fratesi's header, he might have scored. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, Fratesi didn't get a chance at the end. He, um, I think he probably had not much, too many minutes, to be honest. Exactly. Yeah. But no, no, I'm happy with how we came out. For me, Man City players. It's, uh, I mean, Rodri was kind of half fit, but I was also impressed by him. The, the centre backs, like, they just never panicked. No. Like, Akanji. Even if it was like a ball flying out like 50 yards in the in the air, he just like touches it down and then passes it next. It's Lewis was very, very tidy, the yeah. midfielder. Like, yeah. if, even when it looked like he had to panic, he was never panicking. Which one? Uh, is, is it Lewis? The, the, oh, Rico Lewis. Rico oh, Lewis, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For his stature, he's amazing yeah. and mm. very strong And he's as well. tiny as well. Like, yeah, yeah the, inter- the interplayers struck me how like big they look. Like Bastoni looks Compl- quite big. Exactly. Yeah. Especially yeah. next to Lewis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bastoni was very good as well with his tackling. Like he showed. Yeah, a lot defensively, of defensively. Yeah. yeah. No, he's grown a lot over the last year defensively. But yeah, nil nil. Now it's time for a long two and a half hour drive back to Leicester, and I now have to edit this vlog with nice. my bootleg editing. So <laughs> leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't buy your tickets from StubHub. Forza Inter. Forza Inter.